Hi friends, uh, in this uh, video we will discuss one more uh, problem related to hexagonal pyramid and this is the hexagonal pyramid with all the slant edges has been connected through a point of apex or vertex read the question hexagonal pyramid side of waist 26 mm and 70 mm height rests on HP on one of its base edges it is similar to the previous case here also one of its base edges on HP such that the triangular face containing the resting edge triangular face containing the resting edge if I say for an example this edge is on HP BC is on HP means what is the triangular face containing the resting edge OB OC is the triangular face containing this resting edge BC it has to be perpendicular to both HP and BP draw its projections here there is no inclinations with respect to axis or base they clearly state uh, whatever the resting edge if the BC is the resting edge on HP the triangular face on the resting edge is OB OC OBC is the triangular face resting on that HP so be perpendicular to both HP and VP so the simple position is very simple easy for us one of the edges on HP so with this we can say this is the position of X again after the rotation of 90 degree in clockwise direction of horizontal plane it is the final position of the top view and uh, being the this is the plane surface of x7 for pyramid we have to join all the slant edges all the corners of of x7 to through slant edges to a point of apex or vertex called o so let us check the answer so first draw the position of uh, hexagon similar to the previous case now you can give a name for all the corners after giving name to all the corners join the diagonal of the uh, hexagonal prism to fix the apex or vertex called O so with this we can say uh, top view of simple position has been completed you can extend the projectors from all the corners fix the base fix the base of the uh, front view so with this what is the height it is 70 mm height 70 mm height rests on HP so first you have to draw the axis being axis is exactly coincided or uh, located on the edge which is visible from the front view so we can draw as continuous thick lines what is the height of this it is 70 mm this 70 mm height has to be used only for the axis not for slant edges so what is the slant edge this is also one of the slant edge but still it is exactly lying on the axis that's why we use the height as 70 mm for this slant edge nothing but the axis being it is visible uh, we can uh, clearly complete the front view this is O dash so as we know that B C D will be visible as an observer standing here A F E is invisible being observer is standing here so we can say b dash is visible a dash is invisible c dash is visible that is the c dash so this is c is visible from here but f is invisible it has to be denoted in bracket similarly d is visible e is invisible from here so d dash e dash this is the final simple position of the particular hexagonal pyramid now which edge we uh, fixed on uh, HP it may be either EDH or ABH so we can choose ABH ABH now read the question again the triangular face containing the resting edge is perpendicular to both HP and VP what is the triangular face here this AB O O A B is the triangular face containing the resting edge of AB it has to be made perpendicular to both HP and VP so what is the meaning of this I have to uh, make sure that front view in the front view O dash B dash A dash must be perpendicular to XY also in the top view OAB has to be made perpendicular to OAB is the triangular face okay OAB is the triangular face which has to be made perpendicular in the top view also if you draw both the views exactly perpendicular to xy so we can say uh, it is perpendicular to both hp and vp so what is the uh, 
option we are having is i have to tilt this o dash b dash a dash as exactly perpendicular to this xy reference line in the front view see you can measure it is not exactly 70 mm don't use 70 mm for drawing the step number three you have to use the scale and measure the distance of o dash b dash a dash and draw the length here okay so draw the length here then what is the inclination of this uh, o dash b dash a dash it is 90 degree okay 90 degree to x y reference line afterwards what we can do is i have to draw this uh, d dash e dash to fix the another other side of the edge for that we have two options one i can measure the inclination of these edges uh, slant edges using protractor it will be more difficult for us to uh, draw that instead of that you can uh, what we can do is this is uh, b dash a dash you measure the make this b dash a dash as center d dash e dash as radius draw one arc then similarly use this o dash as center o dash as center d dash e dash as radius draw an another arc both will meet at one point you can join this for the base of the front view or base of the hexagonal pyramid i will repeat how we drawn these two arcs here this is the o dash b dash a dash is this plantage so i need this d dash e dash now so you can take b dash a dash as center radius as d dash e dash fix this point as center and draw one arc next is i can fix this o dash as center measure the distance of d dash e dash use this point as center and draw the ray. radius as d dash e dash and draw an arc both will meet at one point complete the base of the pyramid now this is the step number three you can reproduce the same notations of all the corners in the front view now this the procedure is same what i can do what i can do i can extend all the uh, projectors of the respective corners this is b dash a dash here it is a so both will meet at this point a1 and here it is uh, b so you can extend the projectors from here it is uh, b1 and you may have a doubt how it is uh, possible whether now this o dash a dash b dash o dash a dash b dash is a triangle you can check in the top view oab is the triangle that triangular face is perpendicular to hp now here also i have to make sure this triangular face oab oa1 b1 must be perpendicular to xy reference line in the top view so that is how it is explained here it is point number o here also o dash both is meeting at this point now it is clearly identified oab is perpendicular to xy reference line so with this we can clearly say oab is the triangular face on the resting edge ab is perpendicular to both hp and vp okay, is perpendicular to both hp and vp so this with this we can uh, extend the projectors from all the respective corners of both this uh, front view and top view we can fix all the six corners of hexagon already we fixed the apex or vertex now you can join the boundaries of this uh, particular top view by continuous thick lines. What is the boundary here? A1, O1, B1, then B1, C1, C1, D1, D1, E1, E1, F1, F1, A1 is the boundary. So being it is 90 degree uh, inclined, 90 degree with respect to perpendicular to both HP and VP, if you see from the top i can able to see all the slant edges all the slant edges which is connecting the apex or vertex o dash so i have to join all the corners through this to this apex or vertex so i can join uh, b1 o1 then similarly e1 o1 f1 o1 c1 o1 all the slant edges can be visible it is visible from the top view because it is uh, exactly perpendicular to hp as well as vp it is very easiest question but 
you always remembering why the axis inclination is not given how can we solve this problem okay so you just read the question it's very simple triangular face containing the resting edge what is the resting edge we used in the base edges this is the resting edge a b or e d both are we can take it so if you take a b what is the triangular face on the uh, resting edge a b is o a b now you can check the final answer this o dash a dash b dash in the front view is perpendicular to x y reference line here also o a b is perpendicular to x y reference line both front and top view we have satisfied this condition as perpendicular to both hp and vp okay tell if you uh, find any difficulties or any queries you can ask uh, by means of texting in the comment box okay